We're here at the Score TV and Sirius Hardcore Satellite Radio. Yeah, we'll wait. There he is here. 32 points. Spurs improved to 7 0 at home, handing Orlando their first road loss of the year, 128 110. Oh, it's Tina, the one I sent him. Look at that. Tina Pro Bowl cheerleader. I sent him that. That's awesome. See, you'll get a virtual tour of Hardcore Country on MickAussie.com. Although. You know, Mick drinks a lot, so I imagine it'll take him four or five months to get this crap posted. <laughs> but uh, that's another story. Uh, from Calgary, well, now Mick is in hardcore country, attending the Great Cup. How you doing, Mick? Yeah, good to be here, Gabe. It's been a while up there in Montreal. I was in studio, but yeah, it's been a while since I've been back here in Toronto. Uh, the center of the universe. Today, I do not know why they still call Toronto the center of the universe. Maybe you can explain that. Pretty yeah. boring town, huh? Well, no, like, yeah, I don't know. You, maybe you can tell me. Maybe because Canada's the best country to live in. I think Australia is. But, yeah, center of the universe. People believe it here. I'm not sure why there, Gabe. Now, uh, Mick, uh, you've attended many great cups across uh, Canada. You've been to great cups in uh, every city almost? Yeah, this is my seventh, mate. Been here uh, nearly ten years, based out west. So, seventh grey cup. Later. Considering you film me <laughs> making out with a, a topless blonde woman in a bar, Mick, then an ex-girlfriend logs on to the internet... I get back, starts asking me about what happened. I said, oh, nothing, nothing really. And she sends me an email. She goes, oh, well, why don't you uh, read this email? She sends me a fucking link to me making out with some <laughs> chick in a bar because you fucking filmed it. Well, Gabe, X is the key word, probably because, you know, treat them mean, keep them keen. She probably seen you down there and probably wanted you back, so it probably worked, you know? Well, yeah, you could be right. You could be right. All right, Mick, we're going to take a couple of calls here. Here we go, the party started, about to go into the best party ever, one of the best parties in the world, the spirit of Everton, you can hear the vagina rough rider band playing outside now, just had a chat to Dave Dickerson down at the CFL headquarters, it's going to be a big week, let's get some funny, very funny Mick Web TV, total CFL Web TV, here at the spirit of Everton Thursday night, Grey Cup has started. Here we go, my first party at oh! Grey Cup. Big feisty lines. Oh, he's missed it. We're here in the Sheridan Hotel rooms. Game of footy started. Ready? Ready? Go, you got the. Right, here we go. Got the photo hey, still, eh? Pam, I mean, Pam, we're it's gorgeous, eh? Beautiful. Good to see you again, champ. All right. Uh, <laughs> say, what, say, what, what do you got hey, in the front? Look at that. Oh, what do we got oh, it? Look at that. Oh, here we go. Because he media pass. <laughs> it might not get in. And we're going to the bombers show. Apparently it's sold out. Whoa, here we go. How you going, buddy? Mick, how's it going? Long time, eh? 99 we first met. It's been a long time. You're still coming out to these games. Oh, yeah. And what's going on in Ottawa? You going to get a team back Ottawa's or what? cold and snowy and we're trying. The mayor wants a team, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, disappointing the Renegades failed, eh? Yeah, Renegades suck. We have crappy owners. We <laughs> from the beginning both times, for Christ's sake. Gleibermans, eh? Gleibermans. Suck. Good to see you again, Jeff. You too, Mick. Stand here with uh, Jim Wang, legend of Roger Sportsnet Connected, Sportsnet West. Jim, great to meet you again. I see you guys on TV all the time. You kick butt out, West. First of all, I know you're a huge CFL fan. What's it like to have the Grey Cup in your home city? Oh, my gosh, it's been too long. I was at the last game in 92 as a fan with my dad, and we were heartbroken to see so many NPCs. And finally, the city gets it. The place was sold out. The parties are starting. Like here in Spirit of Edmonton, they got the Trailer Park Boys, the Maxim Party. There's women all over the city for all you good Western Canadian kids to come and see some good Ontario girls. You know we're not we're not so bad. <laughs> we can be friendly. You know what? Everyone's stoked up, and it's going to be a really good game this weekend. You know, I got here in '98, and the, the, in the early '90s, the CFL was in a downer. I mean, it's really picked up. You must be impressed with the way the CFL has grown, especially in the last five to ten years. Well, well I mean, the CFL's my life. That's why I got into sports. It's because of the Canadian Football League, and I had to suffer through all the bad years like everybody else. And now we've got good owners and good teams, have a good commissioner. The money's rolling in, and, and we 
you got some good players, and they think, you know what? Finally, after all the hard work, it's paying off, and they deserve it. No one deserves it more than the fans of you guys, and all around the league, and in Montreal, from coast to coast, who refused to give up in the CFL, and kept it going for the chat rooms and websites, and merchandising, and no matter all the naysayers, the league will always live on. And you're obviously disappointed the Argonauts are not in it. What, what do you think's going to happen with Pinball? You think he's going to coach again, or they're getting someone new in? You're not sure on that. No, I, I think he's. I think it's time. He, his, him and his family have put up with a lot. He didn't even really want to coach. He's been six years as a coach. I think he's going to move up to a president's role personally. Uh, I think Rich Struber is going to take over okay. as coach. Michael's going to kind of run the team in a public affairs kind of thing, and he'll always be part of the Argos, always. And there's going to be a lot of change in the CFL. There's going to be probably a, there's going to be a new gym in Hamilton, maybe a new coach, a new coach in Montreal, and with, there's going to be a new coach in Calgary, we know yeah, that, yeah, yeah, Tom yeah. Higgins, so it's going to be very interesting to see the league going forward next year, everything going in place, it's very exciting going to the off season. Something I'm impressed with, uh, a friend of mine, great guy, Mike Morelli's now in yeah. charge of the CFLPA, I mean, I think that's good to get someone young, you know Mike, and you're impressed with uh, what he's going to do there? Uh, no, Nick, absolutely, you know, the one thing about Mike a lot of people don't realize across the league, he, he started becoming a businessman near the end of his career yeah. running a restaurant called Filthy McNasty's yeah, yeah. a sports bar in Burlington he's worked really hard at it and it's become a chain and Michael Shea's part of it Darcy Tucker of the lease okay. and Maury Alley was a big part of that so I think he has a, a good keen sense of dollars and cents in business that a lot of people in the CFL don't realize and that's good for the PA and good for the league and I think that was a wise move awesome. I hear uh, Jim on the fan out there in Calgary you enjoy, you enjoy doing the radio oh, stuff yeah. out oh, yeah, I love it I, you know what Calgary is such a I love, I love Alberta football fans and uh, Dave Rose, one of my buddies, I have a lot of guys. I know a lot of guys like Mike Richards and work at the Pan 960 in Calgary. And, and I love going on and talking football with them because they care. They know it. They, cool. they get it. And that uh, Total CFL, you're one of the original guys on Total that's CFL. That's right, that's right. Brad Warwick told me about you like you, you love the fan sites and you blog with the I do. So. I do. You know what? To me, that's one of the reasons, honestly, Nick, the CFL was able to persevere. It's your site, and there's a whole host of really good CFL fan sites, and you, you go on them, and I love going on them, and I know coaches and players go on I know for a fact they tell me yeah, they go on them, yeah. and you can't get away with any of the league. If there's some writer who's dumping on the league, who doesn't <laughs> know, or broadcaster slagging the league that doesn't know the work that's out, and they get in their grill. Yeah. And that's really changed because a lot of guys were getting away with being jerks and bad mouth the CFL who didn't know yeah. don't get away with it anymore. And that's one of the beauties of these websites. Yeah, new media is amazing. Jim Wang, one of the biggest fans in the media at the CFL. Great to see you again, champ. Let's have a great week. Good. In Enjoy. Your town, mate. Enjoy a great cup. Have a good time, guys. Thanks, champ. See you. Yeah, right, Cameron Wake's here, Cameron Wake. Okay, uh, Cameron Wake, Copper defensive Copper player, Wake. CFL, BC Lions is here. That's right. Here That's with right. Sirius Satellite Radio, where's Gabriel uh, Renzi, hardcore, he's unbelievable, where is he? He's Sorry. down that way, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Alright, here we are outside the 07 Vanier Cup, Gabriel Renzi Sports Rage, 11 till 2 a.m. tonight. Yeah, on Sirius Satellite Radio, this guy's a Howard Stern of sports, he's unbelievable, he loves the CFL, he loves the CIS, he loves the NFL, Game Rule Renzi, Sports Rage, and I'm on there as well tonight, yeah. see it. Hey Chris, mate, getting some good footage, eh? Yeah, mate. Game's about to start, 07 Vanier Cup. Chris, uh, so what, you, you're mates with the unknown fan, yes, you know where he is, eh? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Cool. Yeah. Down here, eh? What's he doing? corner a little bit there, a little bit around the corner. Hey, 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 champ. Hey, hey, remember me? Hey, buddy. How you going? Hey, good to see you. Good to Stand here, my buddy from Winnipeg two weeks ago, the famous unknown fan. First of all, you picked it, you picked the bombers, you picked the riders, you beat me, you picked them to win, well done. Right. Who is your tip for this weekend? Bombers. 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 Going for the bombers. Going for blue. Going for blue. At least you're talking now. He didn't talk after the Alouette's loss. He was, knew he'd get in trouble. He knew he'd get fined, fined like Wally Bourne or something, right. eh? Right. <laughs> didn't want to get a Wally Bourne fine. No, I don't want no Wally Bourne. <laughs> At least he's talking again. So, uh, Montreal Radio, you're missing someone. Do you know where he's gone? Her game is in Toronto. There we go. He knew what he's talking about. Rancy's in Toronto. 
Let's go. You want to meet Renzi? Love to meet Renzi. All right, let's go. We're going to go see Renzi Sports Rage in about an hour's time. Good to see you again, champ. Right. Very special moment here, standing here with the famous Grey Cup. If you don't know, the Grey Cup is a very old trophy. Standing here, first of all, Grey Cup. Every year, you get smashed in half by the BC Lions guys, then the Alouettes guys smash in half. How do you keep recovering from such brutal damage? Uh, well, I go to this famous auto body dealer, and he does a lot of good work. He does some good airbrushing, some good re-body work. It puts out the dents. You have no idea the parties that I have to go to once the cup's been won. Once I've been won, I gotta go to all 48 guys plus the coaches and their wives. It's it's a bit of a hassle, but uh, you I know what? It's, it's all worth good. it. It's all worth yeah. it. So you bounce back like the BC line snapped your head off and you recovered. Uh, How did you do that? It was br it was brutal, but you know a little. A little TLC and some super glue and everything's back to normal. I'm ready for another round. They, they screwed my head on a little tighter and uh, hey, what do you got to say? It's crazy. It's a CFL. Anything can happen. Well, like the BC Lions and the Alouettes have just hammered you the last few years. What's going to happen when the riders get hold of you, mate? You'll uh, be nothing left of you. I'm thinking I'm going to be somebody, I'm going to be out on some no-name rider lawn in some bird bath or something because that's pretty much what the riders do. They'll pass, they won't they won't just pass it along to all the players. They'll pass it along to all the fans. <laughs> so I'll be out in the middle of a field next to a scarecrow or some shit. Well, well maybe, maybe if the bombers win you, it's better because all these beautiful bomber ladies, Playboy goes there to pick up girls from the beach up. Maybe you're better off if the bombers win. The girls that'll look after you, maybe. Do you know how many lakes are in Winnipeg? They'll probably sink me to the bottom of one of them. Who knows? Like, it's 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 really a lose lose situation. What about it? Except for except for honestly, either each of those teams has been so long since they won. I'll probably get a lot of love from them, lots of hugs and kisses. And what about what about the time Mike Vanderjack, the uh, Indian coach? Oh, what about with Mike Vanderjack? He sold you the bar for a hundred dollars, and you ended up at some girl's house, and she called to say, "I've got the Grey Cup." What happened there? Nobody's supposed well, to know about that. How did you find out about that? In the papers, mate. In the papers. Oh my God. Well, was she good? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Definitely. <laughs> Great to see you again, champ. This is the Grey Cup, alias. The green bastard bubbles for the <gasps> zero five! Bubbles <gasps> zero five! Good <laughs> job, You played like a little bit like that, man. Yeah, man. That's oh, look at me. You don't want to party. You don't want to party. Hey, fucking. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, there you go. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. Long time, no see you. What's up, Kenny? Have a fun chat? Kenny's chatting up. Beautiful ladies, friends, the boys here. Spirit of Edmonton. Another fun night. Awesome. Beautiful lady, beautiful lady. At the Score TV, Serious Hardcore Satellite Radio. Uh, Wednesday night is in studio. Moose is in studio. It's Friday night freak show. I've been on his show for like 9 out of 10 Friday nights for about 7 years. And thank you. Luckily, I mean, Rancy was so good, someone was going to steal him from This is Canada's job. answer to Steve Irwin right here. <laughs> Listen, you got to be careful that we have a Stingray in studio with us today, so just, you got to be careful, don't jump on it. Just, you know, just let it be, just let it be. <laughs> Who's on tonight? Hello. Hi. Did I talk to you the other night? Yeah. Yeah, here you go. What's your name? Stacy. Stacy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Lions party at four o'clock tomorrow, then off to the Alouettes huddle, huddle. There's Riderville, there's Spirit of Edmonton, there's the Atlantic Schooners, I'm sure Moose is gonna go to, there's the Tiger Cat Lair, there's uh, oh Manitoba show, the, the bombers show was sold out today. There were so many good fans that couldn't even get into the bombers show. But she was talking about the Grand Footy final, she's actually been to one, she knows somebody. I think it was with the Sydney Swans or somebody. But I told her about Mick and his exploits out there and how big Aussie footy is getting out in Western Canada. And I said it's a good sign.
It's great, and Toronto's got one of the biggest leagues outside of Australia. We hang out. Fred and the boys met the coach of Canada today. First time Canada beat the US was this year in Aussie Rules footy. But you know what? I like to talk about a lot, but we can't. NFL, CFL is obviously the hot topics again. I